Today I'm unboxing and doing a little mini review on a DJI Spark. Engage. All right, so this is the drone that I've been ranting and raving about. I already took it out of the box because I'm not a five-year-old. I mean, I already took it out of the packaging. It wasn't for Christmas. It actually came for my birthday. My wife bought it for me. But, um, so this is the drone. I just wanted to open it up. Let y'all see what I got inside. So, comes with the actual drone. It's called, let me get that out of here. I'll put that in there. It's called the DJI. It's called the Spark. And the joint so far, so far so good. It looks dope. I just, um, charged it all up. And I took it out for a little test flight. But before I show you that, I want to show you what came with it. It's just the uh, power socket and USB, uh, mini USB cord. So that's going to charge it whenever I'm done. I know they said it charges for, I mean, it could fly for about 16 minutes straight. So that's a little bit of time to fly. But hey, as small as it is, it can keep me in the pack light. Um, frame of mind so that's all I really wanted to do I mean if I I definitely didn't want to be walking through no airport with a big old suitcase with a drone in it and then I know that a lot of places have a lot of regulations and things that makes flying a drone like a hassle I was reading one story where this dude said he went to I think Ecuador and they confiscated his drone at the airport and wouldn't give it back to him until he left the country. So I know he had one of those big old uh, RoboCop looking joints. <laughs> so maybe that was the reason, but I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure why. I also don't want it to be so big. I just don't feel like carrying that much crap around. I already pack as little bit of clothes as possible when I go places. But um, yeah, anyway, we're gonna take this joint outside, see what it looks like when it's flying. Oh, this part right here, that was like uh, some more propellers if the first one's broke or whatever. All right, so I'm gonna take it outside. And let's see what we got. Welcome aboard, abroad. Welcome aboard 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 abroad. First and foremost, I have to say that this thing makes my heart race. Every time I think I'm going to press one direction and it goes another direction, my heart drops. I think that's mainly because I'm not used to the controls. It's like when you get a new video game and it feels like the controller is upside down and you need it to go to the menu and change it to inverted options. That's the way this thing feels sometimes. I've seen mixed reviews about the hand gestures that this spark does. Some people said it worked like a charm. Other people said it's just a gimmick. Whenever I get around to testing it, I just want to make sure that I'm not so close to a lake. I want to test some of the other great features it boasts too, like the object follow. So like when I'm walking around, it can just follow me while I'm walking. But again, I'm sure I need to get more comfortable flying this thing. I need to be over a cornfield or something. A few times I almost ran it into above ground telephone wires, and once I almost ran it into a car. And I'm also aware that this problem is mainly because I have to look down at the screen to see where the drone is flying. When if I had one of those controllers that come with the fly more pack, I would be able to just feel it with my thumb. When I'm able to feel it with my thumbs, I'll be able to just keep my eye on the prize, which is the drone up in the air. And then that way, I won't feel so nervous about turning or going left or right or anything like that. So as far as the camera goes, it's high definition and it takes great photos along with videos. Every time it got too far away from my Wi-Fi signal, it let me know, so I brought it back home to me. It has a landing feature that will make it land right back where it took off from, and it does that on autopilot. Overall, I could see it helping me make superb videos in the future. I can't wait to get it over a mountain, ocean, a grand waterfall, or a cruise ship, or the Sphinx in Giza. 
there are a lot of government regulations I know I need to get familiar with as well. So for now, I'm taking this joint back into the house before I plunge it into the ground. Other dudes on YouTube don't seem to care when they destroy things that cost half a thousand dollars, but I do. I'll start reading the manual and hopefully the next time I mention it, it'll be because of the awesome footage that I'm capturing that makes sense in the video that I'm creating. So I hope this helps if anyone's interested in purchasing the joint. I know this wasn't a full length unpackaging and review, but just to let you know that this DJI Spark, it does do the thing that it said it was going to do. I can't wait to get it out there. All right, so that was my drone test flight. I enjoyed it. I think I'm having a real good time with this thing. Um, the cool thing is like the um, the camera, it records twice. It records once inside my phone and it records once inside the, uh, the memory card that's inside the drone. So one cool thing that I just realized is the the footage that comes inside the drone on the um, on the memory card, it's a lot clearer, a lot better to work with. It's a lot easier to edit and everything. So that was giving me a lot of trouble at first because I thought I had to use the footage that was in the phone and that was all choppy and screwy and it was making me upset, but I'm happy that I learned that. I hope you guys learned something. I definitely suggest this drone. It's, uh, once again, it's the DJI Spark. I know they have one called the Fly More Pack. I didn't get that, I just got the regular one because I never flew a drone before, so I don't know exactly what I needed and what I didn't need. And I didn't want to go spending some extra money for something that I probably wouldn't ever use. So I can always uh, get that uh, antenna, what do they call it? It's like a Wi-Fi antenna that comes with a remote control. Um, I can get that at a different date. But right now, I'm good with this. And that's less stuff for me to pack in my luggage well thanks for watching y'all and remember whenever you go outside make sure that you make a real good video out of it so you can throw that joint up on youtube and on my new page that i'm making called um landmark usa um make sure y'all make as many videos as possible and i'm gonna give out all the information on that later next time you're seeing something beautiful make sure you record it from an aerial view like a king a passport king peace Like this episode? Great! Remember to leave comments below. Subscribe and like and share it with your social media. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you want to make money online or just book a trip, go to www.passportkings.com and pick up our free book while you're there.